M0FXB, I'm going to show you the procedure for downloading the firmware on the Radiology. Now, I've already done mine, but I'm going to show you it anyway. So go here and download the firmware and also the driver, the USB driver, okay? Once you've got that somewhere on a file in your computer, and I've got mine here, if I double click here, you're going to see I've got the firmware. The lower one is actually for the B band and the, the upper one is for the, no, get it right, the lower one is the A band. And it does say it there. If I, if you float over it, it says, you'll see it says A bin at the end. And if you float over the other one, it says B bin, but B band, okay? Because it's you, do, you have to firmware twice. So quite straightforward. So once you're, you right click device manager, just check your COM port number. And mine's not plugged in because I've already done it. But anyway, once you've got it, then you'll select, this is on the A, we're doing the A band first. Turn off the radio, turn it off, yeah? and then hold down the little button above the PTT and turn it on and the screen will go like a red color. Once you've done that and it's flashing red, you know it's in firmware mode and it will say A, okay? And then all you do is click open and then click open API file. Go to the file that you've saved for GD88. So I've got mine on my desktop here somewhere. GD88, there it is, and then double click, and then double click the for the A band, double click the bottom one that says A bin at the end, and then once you've done that, click IA, IA, oh, <laughs> IAP, okay, and then it will just start doing all this checksum stuff, and it will follow through, and at the end of it, your radio will actually say done, okay, and that's fine, and then, then you do the next one, so you go open, Let's just close it down completely and start from the scratch on the on the B band. So you you don't forget you select the COM port first. You click open, open API file. But this time you're doing the B band, so you're selecting the one that says B at the end, bin file. Now to get it into the proper firmware mode, you have to go back to your radio, hold down the button above the PTT, hold it down, and it will say B at the top. You're now doing the B band, then. At this point, double click this file, you've got the file here, and then click IAP here, and it will just load that on. Okay, and when all the checksum figures just freeze and stop changing, the firmware is complete. And hopefully you can turn it on and off, and it will just work. Now, if you get a white screen, this is important, turn it off and hold down the green and the red button, then turn it back on, and hey presto, everything will be good. So later on, I've done mine, I'll be doing, I'm just going to load my code plug on it and we'll be demonstrating some of the new features. Bye for now, 7th